Hey, everybody. Ricky Medlock from Leonard Skinner right here. And I'm here to tell you, if I was stranded... Here's the five records that I would hope that I've ended up with with me on this island. Number one, I can tell you this much. I would love for it to be uh, the Street Survivors record, number one, uh, because I could listen to that record uh, forever. And I got a really cool thing, a really cool story. Uh, before the guys went out on the road, I took my granddaddy, Shorty, over to their studio in Riverside. And Ronnie met us over there. He wanted to see my old man and me. And we met him in the studio. He played us, uh, he played us that smell uh, there in their studio before they ever went out on the road. So I got a preview of the record at that time. And it was just freaking awesome. I was a huge Hendrix fan. The one record that I would hope that I could have on a deserted island would be Electric Ladyland. I love that record. Uh, I think I wore out about three or four of them when I was young. And uh, that would be the one that I would choose to pull in, flop down on the disc and let it spin. The next one, I really believe, uh, is by Cream because also Eric Clapton was a big influence on me. My playing, if you listen to my playing, you'll hear the influence of Clapton in it. And uh, I just loved him. And the one record I would love to have by Clapton and the Cream would be, uh, you know, Wheels of Fire. I love that, that record. Crossroads on that was just so bad to the bone. I love the Beatles. I was 14 years old and watching Walter Cronkite's Evening News on CBS. And a reporter came on and said, we're going to report on a phenomenon called Beatlemania in London. And they showed them running through the streets and all these girls chasing them. And I went, wow, I'd like to do that. You know? So the one thing that I love and still do today, uh, I listen to the Beatles a lot. And I really can't sit here today and tell you my favorite Beatle record. I would hope that I would be able to have the one record, which would probably be either Sgt. Pepper's or Rubber Soul. Uh, but if I could have one, I'd take uh, probably Sgt. Pepper's and then I would steal Rubber Soul and tuck it in my shirt and uh, off to the island I would go. <laughs> Last but not least, I know that people might laugh at me for this, but that's okay, man. There's really some good soulfulness into it. I would take a Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs bluegrass record with me, and I would stick that in my backpack, and off I'd go. Because my granddaddy Shorty, that's where he kind of where he came from, uh, and he used to listen to them all the time, and uh, got to meet them. And uh, you know what? That was a big influence actually in our household that I listened to when I was very young. So there you go. Those are the records I would take if I was stranded on a deserted island, okay? But if you were stranded on a desert island, you better take a Leonard Skinner record with you. Hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is, or who your favorite bands are, and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you, that's the point, all right? Keep it coming.